Days and we have <clears throat> our resident expert Manisha Gupta joining in uh, for exactly that. Manisha, morning. I know you're going to talk about gold, but first, this whole move on crude is so breathtaking that, you know, we can't help but ask you, <laughs> what's really happening with the crude markets? Is it just this, you know, Gaza, there's some, maybe some humanitarian corridor is opening up. Or is it just geopolitics? Or is there something more to this big fall? Well, uh, you know, when you look at this year, <clears throat> the chart that crude prices have uh, charted out clearly has been very, very volatile. The broader range has been 70 on the lower side, 96 on the higher side. But in the last three weeks itself, we've come down from $91 of a high to almost $81 a barrel on your screens there. Well, a couple of things. One, yes, the geopolitical premium seems to be easing off right now. The U.S. inventories have continued to rise. And the last week could have seen a U.S. inventories gain by 12 million barrels. I mean, that's huge. The U.S. consumption also has continued to decline. And then the, if you look at the Chinese data, that has come in on the weaker side as well. So even as Russia and Saudi Arabia are cutting output and there were expectations of a deficit in this quarter, but because of the weak economic data, no demand or weaker demand from China, Europe and US, those are all the factors that have led to hedge funds taking profit in case of crude. Okay, so currently at 81.4 on Brent crude prices. But Manisha, you know, you were pointing out earlier in the morning as well that there seems to be a pullback in a lot of the other commodities as well. Uh, so take us to what's going on with some of the precious metals. Oh, well, yes, you know, it was in the last month that we saw the geopolitical tensions also support the tangible and the safe haven buying come in for gold. But since then, we've seen equity markets rebound a bit. The dollar index is off its six-week lows. We also have seen the treasury yields gain up. And then the markets also have, uh, have seen weaker buying because of these higher prices. Now, that seems to be putting pressure on prices. If you look at the prices itself, we did see $1997 announced. I mean, that is when everybody started talking about 2000 and plus kind of levels. But since then, we have seen the come the profit taking come in. We're almost 30 to 35 dollars off those kind of lows that we saw in the previous month there. Add to that the fact that the markets also are looking at resilience in US banking numbers. It also is about the Fed uh, Powell speech. One is today, the other one is on Friday. So any sense about the interest rate movement going forward is what this street is watching out for. Ahead of that, there's a huge amount of profit taking. But the big plus is that with this correction, the Indian physical bank seems to be picking up. Okay, got that, Manisha. Thank you very much. Uh, so, a little bit of easing off of these geopolitical uh, risk tension factors, and uh, that explains what's going on with gold and crude as well. Thank you very much. We. Uh...